Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Cookie Crochet Tutorial. Um, today I'm going to teach you how to single crochet. We're going to go um, back and forth and I'm going to teach you how to turn and everything. Um, if you like what you see, please follow me, um, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and for the tutorial, just continue watching. Thanks! In this video, I'm teaching you how to do a single crochet. The first thing you want to do is make your slip knot, and I'll put the link in below on how to make a slip knot so you can watch that video. And then you're going to make your chain stitch. I will also put the video below on how to make a chain stitch just in case you need to watch that first. Now, I'm going to make 21 chain stitches. So what I want to end up with is I want to end up with 20 um, single crochets. So to do that, I need to make 21 chain stitches. And here, I'm just continuing my chains until I get to my 21 chain stitches. Now, when you work your single crochet do not chain in that or do not work into that first stitch you work into that second stitch so here i'm inserting the hook and i just want to put my hook in that second stitch not the first stitch and i'm going to just pull through so i'm going to insert my hook in the chain i'm going to loop over pull up a loop and then pull through and i'm going to continue that all the way down insert my hook in that chain i'm going to loop over pull up a loop and then pull through two loops that are on my um, crochet hook there so you just continue to do that all the way down to your 20 and here I like to have especially this is a brand new ball of um, yarn here so I like to have plenty so I'm not um, tightening it too much when I am in the process of crocheting so I like to have plenty of loose yarn there so all the way down I am just putting my hook into my chain and then I am yarning over and then pulling through the two loops that are on my crochet hook. And again, I want to do that all the way down to the 20 that I have. And I just continue to repeat this process. The single crochet makes a tighter crochet and it's a little bit stiffer so it'll hold its shape better than what a half double or double crochet will. But it is, it's a smaller stitch so it doesn't quite have the height as the half double or the double. Now that you've made it to your slip knot, you want to make sure that you do not work into that slip knot. Sometimes it can loosen up a little bit while you're working and it can be a little bit confusing if that's part of your chain, but you do not want to work into it. Now you chain one and then you turn. And when after you chain one, you want to make sure that you don't work into that chain. That is just your turn, turning chain and that's it. Do not work into that. Work into that first stitch right there. And you want to continue the process that you did already all the way down. So you just um, put your hook through that stitch. And then you pull a loop up. And then you pull through all the loops. So put your hook through the stitch, pull a loop up, and work through both loops on your um, crochet hook. So just repeat that all the way down to your 20 and some people don't like to count but really it's a good thing to count so you make sure that you're not accidentally making an extra or you're not leaving a stitch off especially because we want our crochet to be even especially on the ends so just again count your stitches and you are inserting your hook you're pulling up a loop and then you're yarning over and then pulling over or pulling through both loops on your hook so just continue that all the way to the end and again I'm pulling up through more yarn because I like to have it a little bit loose so I'm not making my work too tight and when you get to the end here what you're going to see is you're going to have one last stitch there and then you're also going to have your 
turning chain right there where you chained up the one. So you want to make sure you don't work into that stitch because again, it will make it look uneven. And some people like for you to work through it, but I really don't because I think it makes a hole. And here you have your single crochet. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video on how to make a single crochet. Um, if you like what you saw, please comment, like, subscribe to my channel. It would really help me out. Also comment if there's anything else that you would like to see on future videos. My plan is to start out with the basic stitches and then work my way up to actual projects. Um, so stay tuned so you can see what projects we have coming up. Also, um, if you want to see what crochet hooks that I use, I'm going to leave my Amazon affiliate link in the comment section below. That way you can see what I started out with, but you can also see what I use now, which is the ergonomic crochet hooks, and they're very reasonably priced. Also, if you like this fabulous, fabulous outfit that I'm wearing right now, the pattern is a mesh up pattern, so the hood part is from the Twisted Hatter. She has her own website, twistedhatter.com. I'll leave the link in um, the description and then the dress part or the vest part is from Ladybird Loops and she has this for sale on Etsy. I'll also leave that link in the description below. Um, if you want to see all the other stuff that I like to crochet and things that I do, please follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll also leave my Etsy link below. Thanks everyone!